Thank you very much for that. Because the street is a little worried whether these are these individual actions with regards to uh, some of these entities could be uh, taken uh, sort of as a kind of sweeping uh, indictment of the sector, uh, which is not the case as you're saying. But uh, let's hear it from Abhishek, uh, who's basically going to tell us what Morgan uh, is Morgan Stanley is making of some of these actions. Abhishek, take it away. Uh, well, Morgan Stanley has written a note wherein uh, they have asked their investors uh, with respect to uh, certain qu uh, questions that's been raised uh, from them. Uh, so Morgan Stanley has said that RBI expressed discomfort with the exuberant credit growth that is seen in unsecured retail or consumer loans. So actions taken against across entities have been different for specific reasons as mentioned by RBI. So magnitude of outcome of actions have also been varying. It's not the same for all. Uh, RBI has mentioned that entities have been given enough, uh, given enough time uh, with respect to um, uh, you know taking corrective uh, steps or corrective action against these measures so incorrect and premature to make a sweeping assumption that action is on fast growing entities alone and uh, this is likely to be an overhang on stocks wherein high loan growth is seen in the immediate term so if more rbi action on other entities follow uh, this narrative will gain ground and we may see investors refraining from nbfc's back to you Mm, okay, all right, Abhishek, thank you very much for that. That's the Morgan Stanley view. Let's take the discussion forward with uh, Hemang Jani. Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18 and do follow us on all our social media platforms for news, updates and more.